Hot news. Megan foams at mouth after Tom Bauer breaks silence on Duchess' deliberate insult queen. According to biographer Tom Bauer, who is set to release a book about Meghan Markle this year, she no longer cares if she is welcome in London after stepping down from the royal family two years ago. Meghan Markle has no plans to return to the UK as Britain is a lost cause for her and Prince Harry, a royal biographer has said. Meghan and Harry quit the firm in 2020 and now live in California with their two children Archie and Lilibet. Since then, Harry has returned to the UK twice, but both times he travelled alone, and Meghan and son Archie have not been to Britain for two years. Daughter Lilibet has never visited the country after being born in California. And now according to biographer Tom Bauer, who is writing a book about Meghan, she has no intention to return to the UK and doesn't care if she is welcome in London. He said, at the moment, Meghan's ultimate destination is unclear, but she certainly has the backing to make a bid to star as an American politician. In parallel, Britain is a lost cause for the Sussexes. In truth, I suspect Meghan no longer cares whether she is welcome in London. She has no intention of returning. However, he does point out that while public opinion about Meghan in the UK might not be favorable, in the US she is still admired. He adds that Harry and Meghan's mini tour of New York last year was deemed a success and that she has solid support among Democrats, minorities, and the young. Meanwhile, last month, Harry claimed he is unable to bring Meghan and their two children to the UK due to a lack of security. He and Meghan lost their police protection when they stepped down as working royals. Meghan Markle has no intention of returning to the UK as she simply doesn't care what the British public think, a royal biographer has claimed. The Duchess of Sussex, 40, stepped back from royal duties in 2020 and now she and her husband Prince Harry live in Montecito, California. Since moving to the US, Harry has returned to the UK on two occasions but never with Meghan or their two children in tow. Tom Bauer, who is currently working on a biography of Meghan claims the Duchess doesn't plan on returning to the UK because she views Britain as a lost cause. The commentator told The Sun, Meghan's ultimate destination is unclear, but she certainly has the backing to make a bid to star as an American politician. In parallel, Britain is a lost cause for the Sussexes. In truth, I suspect Meghan no longer cares whether she is welcome in London. He added, she has no intention of returning. Prince Harry has been spotted rubbing shoulders with NFL players following the Super Bowl at the weekend and appears to be embracing American culture, much to the delight of Sussex fans. After the big game, comedian Cedric the Entertainer shared photos from inside the LA Rams dressing room after their Super Bowl win, and one of the snaps features Prince Harry. The Duke of Sussex appears to have been invited to the dressing room by the LA Rams, who beat the Cincinnati Bengals 23-20. The photograph shared by the comedian features him and Harry gripping hands, while other invitees mingle in the background. It seems that Harry, who lives less than two hours away from the stadium, has fully integrated into American culture, much to the delight of royal fans. May Eater wrote, Harry is American now, while an American user called Kia 123 wrote, by Little Island, Prince Harry is one of us. Royal experts were thrown for a loop following Prince Harry's latest video with mental health platform Better Up with some wondering what's going on following a recent style change. Hosts of the royally obsessed podcast Roberta Fiorito and Rachel Bowie discussed Prince Harry's latest video with company Better Up where he discussed burnout and prioritizing self-care. But the two royal experts were drawn to the video for a more unusual reason and could not look past the Duke of Sussex's new haircut as they much preferred his old look. Ms. Fiorito remarked it made Prince Harry look balder and a close military cut does not work when you don't have much hair to begin with.